All right. Now let's do a quick review of running a Docker container in foreground or background. So <clears throat> what do I mean by foreground? Well, basically, if you are running a particular Docker container without using the hyphen D uh, or the detached or daemon mode flag, it runs in foreground. You see the output of it then and there and it, ex and it uh, exits immediately. Additionally, uh, you can use hyphen IT to interact with the processes in container. Uh, but again, because you're not using hyphen D, it's still running in foreground. Basically, if you say something uh, IT uh, and that particular image and then the process name, it gives you that particular interface if it if it is supposed if that process is supposed to ex accept any user interface uh, user commands otherwise it just exits immediately we'll see some examples of it now on the contrary what do i mean by background well if you want a container to keep running in the background um, for whatever reasons you can use the detached uh, it's also known as daemon or background state uh, by using the hyphen d flag in that case, what will happen is it will keep running in the background and you can see Docker PS, uh, you can use Docker PS to see the currently running containers. Now, certain images allow you to override the default command that is used to launch a container with that particular image. For example, uh, when you run Ubuntu in detached mode, it, you, it uh, launches the container with the command bin bash uh, by default. What if we want to change it? What if we want to use a different command by default? Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at it. <clears throat> All right, so I have my terminal over here. Um, and if I do quick Docker version, you can see that I have 1806 Docker installed. I'll just clear the screen. Now, uh, if I do Docker, so just let's have a look at the images I have. I have Ubuntu and Nginx image already. So if I do Docker history on Ubuntu, you can see the last command that it will run, which is for this particular image ID, uh, same as this one, is uh, bin bash. Essentially, that's the default command it is going to use to run my container. Uh, if I run it in interactive or detached mode without passing in any other process that I want to run. Now, what if I want to change that? So what if I just want to see the currently running processes in a new Ubuntu image, uh, in a new container created out of Ubuntu image and just immediately exit, don't do anything else, right? So what I could do is I could run Docker uh, run Ubuntu and then I could immediately say processes which is the short, uh, the PS, right? So when I do this, it will immediately show me the process that are running inside Ubuntu uh, images container and exit then and there. So let's first have a look at the running containers. So I don't have any running containers. And if I see all other containers, I don't have any other containers as well. Now let's do Docker run Ubuntu PS. So it ran PS, the output was uh, one process PID which was nothing but just this particular process which I just ran, the PS itself, and it just immediately exited in zero seconds. Now if I do docker PS minus A, so it exited 17 seconds ago, and the command it ran was PS, right? On the other hand, if I do docker run Ubuntu echo, actually I'll just say echo, Thanks for watching this tutorial. So it ran Ubuntu. Uh, it ran the echo command inside that Ubuntu container, which gave this particular output and it immediately exited. So now when I do docker ps minus a, I can see that it ran this echo command along with this particular argument. Thanks for watching and so on. And it immediately exited th uh, 11 seconds ago, right? So that's how you can run a different process. Now let's go back to running that default process which we had without passing in any process name like this, right? So if I just run docker run, uh, this time I'll do it in interactive mode in the foreground. So if I just do docker run 
hyphen it and i ubuntu so here i am inside my container right um, now if i exit out of this container if i do docker ps minus a this one ran the default command of slash bin slash bash as we saw up here using the docker history command right slash bin slash bash right so uh, the same way you can also run things in, in in background so i could just say docker run hyphen d ubuntu and it will just keep running it in the background for me uh, and it just gave me the container id which it ran so i can see docker ps it's Oh, okay, I need to pass the command name to run in background. Oops, what's going on? Oh, all right. So essentially, because we are not hanging it up for us to give in any input, it's immediately exiting. All right, that wasn't the behavior I expected, but it makes sense. So essentially what is happening is because we are not attaching a terminal for us to be able to give input it is running this particular process and immediately after running this process it exits as you saw over here. So that's what is happening. All right. But uh, now you are but in this case you are doing it in detached or in background mode which means uh, it was running uh, it just gave you a container output as opposed to running the uh, showing the actual output of running that particular program as it did previously when we were running it in foreground. All right. So you saw background and foreground in case of Ubuntu and how to run it using different commands, not the same command. Now let's let's have a look at another image, right? Nginx for example. So I, I just picked up these two images out of pure random. Uh, you can obviously try it with other images as well. So let's go ahead and pick up Nginx and I'll just clear the screen. Let me do docker history on nginx to see the default command it runs. So the default command it runs is nginx with some flags further in daemon mode and all so that it just keeps running in the background. Now this daemon mode which you see over here is different from the daemon mode in which we run docker containers. Uh, well, while, the, while the underlying logic is same that you want something to run in background state, uh, it just keeps running without exiting, um, without occupying your foreground terminal. Uh, but nginx is doing it for a different reason so that the nginx process keeps running and we do it for a different reason so that the docker container keeps running and not nothing to do with a individual process inside the container all right so now when i run docker run hyphen it nginx actually let me uh, clear all the containers so i have so many containers which we just ran using ubuntu uh, here's a quick command to clear all the containers so docker run uh, docker remove rm uh, is to remove a particular container but if i want to remove all the containers i can just pass in so hyphen a is all and q is for quiet so in quiet it only gives you the container ids so this command goes on giving container ids and it passes passes it on to docker rm command so when we run it it deleted all these containers so when I do docker ps hyphen a, now I don't have any containers, right? So let's go back to our nginx uh, thing now. So when I run docker run hyphen it nginx slash bin slash bash. So it gave me a terminal to work on. I can do echo deep, uh, sorry, echo nginx image and so on, right? So it gave me this particular <coughs> Uh, image, uh, sorry, this particular program to interact with. Now, if I exit and if I see docker ps minus a, so this time it ran using the bin bash command. On the other hand, if I run it in daemon mode and I just leave it running in the background, I just give it a name my nginx container, and then I just mention the image name nginx. So now if I do docker ps, this one is running in the background. So notice why nginx is running in the background, but Ubuntu bin bash failed to run in the background and just immediately exited, right? Because in this case, nginx is a long running process, which is just running in daemon mode by itself inside the container, right? So in fact, if I go to this 
uh, if I docker exec this particular container and I just say ps all right so ps actually is, does not exist all right so if I actually go into docker exec this particular container actually in interactive mode and if I do ps okay so ps command does not exist because it's a very thin image but basically i was just trying to show the list of processes running uh, but you can see the processes running over here all right so uh, that's how you run a particular container in daemon mode in nginx and you saw the default command it uses or you can run it in foreground uh, by passing in a command which is other than the default command right so yeah, that was just a quick overview of different ways of running your containers and how to see what is exactly running in the container or using commands like docker history to see what will run if you run that particular images container. Uh, come out, docker history index, right? So definitely play around this and try to play around more containers to see what is happening and if you feel any confusion or anything that is not making sense, uh, leave us a comment in YouTube uh, on our YouTube video and we'll try to uh, figure it out for you and maybe create a video if it's too much of a hassle uh, in terms of being able to understand on your own or a quick Google search might help as well. Uh, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please leave me comments on how I can improve these videos further or what other topics would you want me to cover. I'll see you in next video. Bye.